and welcome to this short video about this West Tone Concord bass um, which I am going to do up I uh, bought it on eBay for next to nothing and it's in a bit of a state so let's have a closer look at it the first thing to note is the frets have been uh, removed from this guitar so what I'm going to have to do I already started doing uh, is um, just to uh, see how soft the material was that was put in to replace the fret slots i've got to uh, replace the fret so i'll have to recut these fret slots also uh, i'm gonna to have to sand down the um the neck um, because two things it's whoever's done the work before has kind of like rounded this a bit too much it's not very smooth anyway but also when i was checking the uh the radius on the neck um it became apparent that there's a high spot on the top so i don't know what was used to radius the neck now a couple of other things um custom paint job uh that's all got to go i'm going to take it back to a black i think i'll probably do it now that string tree is okay i really don't know what's going on here uh a wood screw's been put in um apart from that tuners are all in there I feel they're very loose i'm not really sure if they're going to be uh oh, that one just needs doing up i think we'll have to see if those are serviceable or not um the body again you know custom paint job i'm going to strip it all back i'm going to take all the hardware off um, i'm going to get rid of that pretty grim looking uh painted um uh, pit guard um, replace it with the uh, original pit guard which is just plain black I think and some knobs have a look at the electrics so basically a complete rebuild um, just a bit of a an interesting thing to do uh, and I'll take you through the process thank you okay we've got the um, fret slots cleared out of the veneer that was put in there to make this a fretless base and um, I've cut the fret slots again with the fret saw and I've also radius the fretboard so it's a nine and a half inch radius all the way along nice and straight and flat and it looks like a really nice piece of um, maple this fretboard so it's going to look good when it's varnished next job is to remove the paint uh, from the headstock I've filled in the hole where there was a wood screw holding some kind of weird made up string tree in there which isn't necessary <coughs> because the angle from the from the nut down to these two tuners is fine so the next job is to remove that paint from there um sand this all back to uh natural wood except for this bit obviously you don't want to take anything off here but the rest of it and then we'll see what we're going to do uh with the back and the back of the headstock the back and side of headstock see what kind of finish we're going to put on that I'm inclined because I think this is going to be a nicely figured piece of wood to just use some uh, finishing oil but we shall see